The Tulsa Police Department making some big strides in keeping the city safe. Tonight, 2 News Oklahoma's senior reporter Sharon Phillips takes us inside the Exploitation and Offender Registration Unit, going in-depth on why the unit is having a banner year. Keeping close track of Tulsa's sex offenders plays a big part in our city's public safety. Lieutenant Johnny Adams heads up the Exploitation and Offender Registration Unit for the Tulsa Police Department. Right now I've got a full staff till I've got one person retiring and we'll go back down, but having being fully staffed has allowed us to do uh, be a little bit more proactive. Right now, sex offenders are required to register weekly if they are homeless or transient, and violent offenders are required to register annually. During an average week, the Tulsa Police Department says they will see anywhere from 80 to 100 sex offenders register here at this office. So when they don't register, when we lose track of where they're at, um, that's when, now that we've got the, the manpower, we can easily identify them and then we can start to locate them. I've got younger investigators, more technological skills, and just having time is the main thing. Adam says while they'll never find all the ones they are looking for, they have arrested 140 people for failure to register. Out of 22 cases, eight have pending court cases to revoke their suspended sentence. The whole idea behind the sex offender registry is to let the public know where sex offenders are living. If you know where they're living, you can teach your kids, you can tell your kids, hey, avoid that house, or, or you know when you're moving into a neighborhood, you know where sex offenders are. One hurdle he says they are dealing with right now is the 2,000 foot safety zone. Then our legislators mistakenly, um, and we lobbied against it, uh, the 2,000 foot safe zone. Uh, when they put that into place and added schools, parks, playgrounds, daycares, everything else, it virtually locked 85% of Tulsa out for sex offenders. Our argument then and our argument today is they can't find a place to live. The penalty for not registering is anywhere from a suspended sentence to 10 years. It depends on the judge and it depends on whether it's his first offense or second offense. Go ahead. Lieutenant Adams says the department is able to use grant money to help pay for the overtime for officers to go out and hunt sex offenders. Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma.